create a screenshot in OBS with streamer bot and stream deck. First make sure you have set everything up right. Get the latest streamer bot plugin for stream deck. To do this go to the plugin section, type in streamer bot and click install. Once that's done, open OBS and through tools, WebSocket server settings, enable WebSocket server. Click on show WebSocket connect info. Copy the password to the clipboard. Click apply and click OK. Open streamer bot and go to the tab server clients. Select the WebSocket server tab. Pick the auto start checkbox and press the start server button. Select the tab called stream apps and below that select the OBS tab. In the area right click to add OBS connection. Name an OBS connection uh, then select version 5x. You'll see the port change and next paste in the password you copied earlier. Click auto connect at startup and the reconnect checkbox. Press OK and close the window. Now you see the new OBS connection in StreamerBot. If all is well, it says connected. Also in the right hand corner bottom, uh, it says OBS is connected. Now we're going to add an action to make the screenshot button. Go to the Actions tab in StreamerBot, then right click in the left pane to add an action. Give the action a name. I'm going to name the action Screenshot. You can also add a group. This will sort your buttons nicely into groups. Click OK to close the window. Then in the right hand side, add Core C Sharp Execute C Sharp code. Double click the new item so a window pops up where we can add the C Sharp code. Be sure to add using newtonsoft.json.link where it says your main code goes here in green. There is where we type our C Sharp code. The name of the screenshot is generated by the system time down to the millisecond. So let's add that code. We're going to call it timestamp. The string timestamp we will later use in combination with the extension of the file to generate the actual file of the screenshot. Once that's done, we're going to fill the rack with all the items we need to make a screenshot. The easiest part is to write blanks and then copy it over six times. In the last three lines, we do not need the quotation marks, so we'll delete them. Source name is the source in OBS where we're going to take the screenshot from. Image format is a PNG. The image file path is any given folder on your hard drive. So be sure check out your correct name for your folder and use forward slashes to get to your folder. Add plus timestamp. This is the string we defined earlier. And we add the .png extension.
So next up is the size of the image. Uh, we're gonna do a full HD. So image width will be 1920 and the image height will be 1080. Image compression I'll keep at 89.5. This will give you an average three megabyte screenshot. If you go higher on the quality, then you soon will have seven megabyte screenshots. The CPH OBS send raw. That's the command that will execute the above code. All these commands can also be found on the streamer bot website. And this code is generated through OBS raw. And then I typed it over into an execute C sharp command. The connection can be zero if you have a one machine setup. Next press compile. Here we see we have a typo, so we have to correct that. In this case, J object is misspelled. Everything is case sensitive in the code, so be sure to type everything correct. Press compile once again. Complete it successfully, it says, and then press save and compile. Next up is the integrations. Press the integrations tab and then one row below, it says at the end streamer deck. Press that tab. Tick the checkbox auto start and also start server. Open up the streamer deck software. Then scroll down on the right side to where you see streamer bot plugin and select an action and drag that to an open field. A one time setup is the connection. So press that and everything is set up already. Press save and it should say online in green. So now your connection to streamer bot is done. That's a one time thing. Then where it says action select the action we made in streamer bot in this case a screenshot you can add in a title if you wish you can format the font to your liking your colors and the font size you can also add an icon if you like Back in OBS, uh, select your scene and in that scene add a source you want to capture. If it's a new source you can already copy over the name you're gonna give it. Here we're gonna select the Stream Deck software as a source. Scale it up a little bit, center it to the screen. Adjust everything the way you want to have it. The source name we are going to paste into the C sharp code where it says your source name in OBS. Go back to StreamerBot and open the execute code again. And where it says source name, there you're going to paste your source name we just copied. In this case, window capture. Also, adjust your file path accordingly if you haven't already done so. In my case, I made a separate screenshots folder. Compile once again, check that it completes it successfully and then save and close. Now we can test if everything works. So on your stream deck, press your new button your screenshot will be created for you. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please leave a like and subscribe. The streamer bot import command for the C-sharp code is available in the description below.